Hello YouTube, Andy Cam Reacts uh, here with another reaction. I'm gonna cough here and there on this video and I apologize in advance. I'll try to try our best to like pause the cough of events. Um, I got quite sick. I lost my voice for basically two to three days. Um, and um, this is the best my voice has sounded in, in the last few days. And it is a great golden opportunity for me to record a video because everyone's asleep. Um, including the newborn. And she's been sleeping a little better at night. So uh, this might be the only time in the week I could actually get a, get a reaction going is on the weekend. Um, <clears throat> so today I'm going to focus on Jungkook. Uh, I have not been keeping up with them at all. Well, not really anything at all, but... I do know I missed Jungkook's 3D and I'm and recently standing next to you or something is uh has been released and then I think there's like another preview that was released but I'm not going to check that out. I don't know. This is what I gather from like 5 minutes or less of YouTube's screening after typing Jungkook in. And uh for those that are new to my channel and don't know my um stance Dance, maybe that's the word. Uh, my opinion on Jungkook. Well, let me back up and say BTS. I like BTS. I actually like them a lot. Um, I don't know everything about them. I don't know every song from them. Uh, but I definitely liked... Um, I think probably from... I discovered Danger late, but uh, later in my uh, discovery of BTS. But from... Their songs from Danger Onward, basically, they're like, oh, yeah, I, I like them. Uh, to this day, one of my most favorite K-pop songs uh, is still Run from BTS. It's probably one of their more, <laughs> this is what happens when I talk, uh, my voice squeaks <clears throat> or lose, it just goes in an octave no one can hear. Um, Run is probably one of the less sir favorites of BTS people fans but i really like run um run is probably my, one of my favorite songs from bts if not the most favorite song i'll have to really think about other 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 songs to think about others but anyways and then now to jungkook what do i think about jungkook i think uh if you haven't seen my other pre uh reaction to jungkook um to seven um, I mentioned there, amongst other places, probably in other like reactions to BTS, I mentioned, uh, and I still believe this to this day, Jungkook is basically, in my opinion, like the prototypical uh, male K-pop star. Um, I think he, uh, well, maybe if he was, I think he's like almost 180 centimeters. He's not quite, but I think that's close enough. But his, it's, it's really, he, he's good looking. He's cute. He's good at everything. <clears throat> he's, um, built well. He's, he's, you know, muscular. He take, take, takes care of his body. His singing style, very modern. Um, and, his dancing, uh, way above average. Um, I could already feel the coughs coming. <clears throat> Maybe this was a bad idea. Anyways, Jungkook is like the prototypical idol. <coughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Sorry about that. You didn't hear it, but I definitely heard it. Oh. Reminds me of the old days when I started reacting a long time ago, a year ago. It's probably around this time when I got a call. A bad cough. It just wouldn't go away. <laughs> no, it's not COVID. Um, okay. Anyways, I think I've monologued enough. This is Jungkook's 3D featuring Jack Harlow. I don't really know Jack Harlow. I think I know what he looks like, but I don't know any of his music. Uh, just because I don't listen to American music nowadays. Um... It's the official news video. We'll see where it goes after that. What's going on with my volume? Ew. 
Cook, take a chick off one look, and when they get took, they don't ever get untook. When I seen that body, you would think it was a dead body. The way I told my boys, come look, I used to take girls up to Stony Brook and steal their hearts like some crook. True story. Now, when I hold somebody's hand, it's a new story. All my ABGs get cute for me. I had one girl, too boring. Two girls, it was cool for me. Three girls, damn, dude's horny. Four girls, okay, now you horny. <laughs> I done put these songs to good use. I done put my city on my back and the world know my name on the truth. So if you're ready, and if you let hmm. me, I want Sorry for being so quiet, but I have lots of... Maybe not lots, but I do have thoughts. I'm just gonna... I'm just absorbing everything. I got those and as for fucks, well, not those and as for thoughts, what do you really want to know? I thought so. I fly you from Korea to Kentucky and you ain't got to guarantee me nothing. I just want to see if I get lucky. I just want to meet you in the physical and see if you would touch me. Do you guys even know what a payphone is anymore? Right off the bat, I think it's a mediocre song. Don't kill me. It's only one listen. I listen to the songs multiple times. So to see if I change my opinion on it. But for the first listen, not 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 impressed. I think seven what is like a, from the first impression perspective, a, a better song like tenfold. Um, I also feel like the lyrics are kind of odd like chunk cook's lyrics i think uh probably jack harlow uh, wrote his own lyrics on the rap verses but i think chunk cook's um parts some of the parts in the lyrics were kind of i wouldn't say corny necessarily but it felt like a non-native english speaker wrote it which i think has some charm at times <laughs> because uh, the way the language is thought of from another person that doesn't speak it all the time, it's actually very fascinating when you hear other people try to formulate a, a thought or a sentence without knowing how to to do it, like from a 
say like using slang or figure of speech or metaphors or similes um you kind of get to see how other cultures think about it too right but anyways um with that said i'm not some lyricist i don't know that's just just what i go by off of considering especially from someone that primarily listens to k-pop korean music uh not american music or english speaking spoken languages um let's look at oh i i did want to comment on the beat the beat sounded very plain with a little bit of synth going boom oh and then there's a nice little solid beat in the background so i don't know it just it just felt kind of <clears throat> after first listen it felt underwhelming i think jack jack harlow he, he's got a nice flow i was worried he kind of raps maybe like modern rappers do but i think he actually does not sound like a modern rapper he sounds like a, a the type of rapper that i would probably have listened to when i listened to rap a long time ago let's check out the uh official live performance video <laughs> that came out of nowhere excuse me Are baggy pants coming back in style? I feel like it's like been... It's just to be the, 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 the style that's in now. Oh, it's an official live performance video. I have no idea. I feel like the melody is like a uh, it's really loud on the recording side Sounds like a really old Korean song. The the, the melody. But you can tell he's live because he, you can hear some shakiness here and there. here for this couldn't he freaking chunk of all people oh maybe maybe the schedules just didn't work <laughs> a lot of people That's pretty cool. Yeah, the melody on the chorus, it sounds kind of like a first gen <laughs> type of K-pop song. I'm not sure.
It's a weird way to end the song, I feel like. Dance practice. Good too. They say background. <laughs> hey, it's some nice choreography now that I'm actually seeing an actu the actual choreography. It's actually pretty nice to see. reaction oh so they took out the uh the rap verse I, I think this the song is actually fine without the rap verse actually the rapping is it, it's it's okay it's also fine without it too let's do this uh kbs yeah this beats a little repetitive but it's it's good What a first gen looking lens. Maybe I wasn't the weird one thinking that it feels like an old school kind of K pop song. This fish lens. <laughs> I don't know, am I the only one that thinks that? That it feels like a first gen or even before um, type of melody. takes they take they do because you see the camera up front you see the camera up zoomed out part two right it's 
song's growing on me. This is my fourth listen, I believe. It's it's growing on me. And I actually think I like the song better without the rap. <laughs> It's not that the rap verse was bad or anything, but I think I prefer it without it. He's all grown up. He was so. He was such the youngin before. Now he's. He's a grown dude. Kind of weird. Thinking about it that way. <laughs> so, that was the fourth listen or whatever it was. <clears throat> Jeez, my voice sounds funny. After the fourth listen, I must say, um, the song is growing on me. Especially now that the song is a bit a minute shorter without a minute and a half shorter. What the heck is this? Too much kid lore. I don't think I know this. I should watch this too. Uh, it wasn't part of my plans, but I'm going to add it to my plans. Um, I think the song, maybe with the Jack Carlo um, rap verses, became too long. Now that the song is like under three minutes long, right? It's like three minutes long, exactly. Basically, now the song's like three minutes long instead. I think, I think the song feels like it's the right length. It doesn't overstay its welcome, and it doesn't. And it having the continuous uh, Jungkook um, singing uh, was actually more cohesive, I think. And like I said, I'm not trying to bash Jack Harlow or his part. I thought he sounded great. Um, it was probably my first. I think it's like it's more than likely my first uh, time hearing Jack Harlow, and he sounded good. I liked it. Um, he doesn't sound like a like a like the new age rapper um, at, all, at all. He sounds much more closer to like uh, like a like 15 years ago rap rapper style, which I like. You know, going up in the 90s hip hop and rap um, is and early 2000s, you, you know, it's kind of formed the kind of hip hop I like. Um, and I would say he's closer to that than like the newer stuff that I'm not listening to. I think the Jack Harlow featuring Jack Harlow version of 3D is like a 7 out of 10 to me. Um... And I think 3D without Jack Harlow um, is like a 9 out of 10 for me. The songs definitely started growing on me, and I think it was intentional that they create, they created... <laughs> my voice sounds funny. I think it was intentional that they added a, um, a chorus, a, mo a melody that sounded fairly... maybe late 90s feel of K-pop. Um, I think that was intentional. And judging by the fish, fish lens kind of style they started with here this is absolutely late 90s early 2000s um need to i'm gonna add this here the kid Leroy shankook central c too much i don't know who any of the other people are by the way kind of
So tell me what got in the way And how I thought it was good that it changed And I'm saying I'm sorry again Oh, I can never get out of my way Get to start your wardrobe's replaced It's the lot that you do is complain You keep on throwing it back in my face And then you're telling me I need some space So I'm laying in my bed, tripped up the shoes now I'll be there before I'm without you now Yeah. I actually don't even know if that was Kid Leroy or Central C. <laughs> I'm guessing the other two are like UK. Send you my personal driver, man. This ain't just a Uber. You know it's serious when you stay at mine and bring a toothbrush. Extra panties in your bag or some makeup removers. You know I'm hardly on my own because I stay with the shooters. She called me daddy, she got issues. I am not a father. Hop off the boat and take the jet, leave the yacht at the harbor. She injecting with a Zen bitch trying to stop her hunger. Huh, I went before you came so I could fuck you longer. SC50 show for driven, just type your address in. Pack your bag and we can board the next flight, we could check in. Make sure you check that you ain't forgot your antidepressants. Before I fly you out again and you made me regret. Yo, like, the rap verse was weird. So the Kid Laroi is the singing portion, and yeah, Central C was the rapper. Oh, excuse me. I feel a cough coming. Hold on. <coughs> Ow. <coughs> I think I, I regret starting to record this, but I must continue now that I'm here. I don't think I like that song that much, to be honest. Even Jungkook's part became a little repetitive after the fourth time or whatever it was. And the sad part, the part that kind of frustrates me is that that's the only part he's seeing. So it's just repeated, basically. And he adds a little ad-libs here and there. Um, and I'm, I'm, I think Kid Leroy has skill. I think Central C, his lyricism was, is not my style. That's a, if this is an indi indication of how what kind of lyricist he is, eh, I think I prefer Jack Harlow's um, rap style and lyric or lyricism uh, to Central C. But also, Central C's got a pretty strong accent in his rap. Um, so and, and it's nothing against it. I'm just not used to it. Like uh, UK rap, I'm guessing is what it is. The flow is different. The word choice is different, right? It just doesn't feel or sound as natural to me as maybe some others do. Um, I, I, I really don't want to listen to this song again, to be honest. It's not very often that I don't want to listen to a song over again. I, I don't want to. I think the beat started strong. Tell me what got in the way And how I thought it was good that it changed And I'm saying I'm sorry again Oh, I can never get out of my way Get to start your wardrobe's replaced It's the lot that you do is complain You keep on throwing it back in my face And then you're telling me I need some space So I'm laying in my bed, 
that tripped up the shrooms now. I'll be there before I'm without you now. Realize that I'm addicted to you now. Crying here, baby, relax and cool down. What you saying, hit me back, what's the mood now? In my brain, no one else is just you now. Let me love you the way that I do now. I never knew how. If we had the chance and the time to spend, what you do it again? What's it? In Korean? I saw Korean words. Too much mag, too much normal mana. Mana? Is it too much in Korean? Was it too much? Was it too much? Was it too much? Now you call me your friends because I'm gone again. When I'm back and forth, was it too much? Was it too much? Was it too much? Was it too much? Am I doing too much? Do you understand my slang and get my sense of humor? When your girlfriends tell you I've been fucking around, would you believe me if I told you that they're lying and that's just a rumor? Send you my personal driver, man, this ain't just a Uber. You know it's serious when you stay at mine and bring a toothbrush. Extra panties in your bag or some makeup removers. You know I'm hardly on my own because I stay with the shooters. She called me daddy, she got issues, I am not a father. Hop off the boat and take the jet, leave the yacht at the harbor. She injecting with a zen bitch trying to stop her hunger. Huh, I went before you came so I could fuck you longer. SC50 show for Driven, just tap your address in. Pack your bag and we can board the next flight. We could check in. Make sure you check that you ain't forgot your antidepressants. Before I fly you out again and you made me regret it. Yeah, um, no. This flow basically didn't change the entire that verse. Who blots their freaking cigarette out on a magazine though? Jeez. Uh, I give too much by the Kid Leroy, Jungkook, and Central C. I think like a five out of ten. It's, I I just don't care for the song. Um, it's just meh to me. I'm not gonna beat around the bush on this one. I think it's just kind of meh. Uh, song feels strangely repetitive i don't think it's that repetitive now that i see it again like the structure of the song but because i don't think kid Leroy sound he doesn't really sing the same parts over his first verse doesn't sound like anything like the rest of the song or anything like that but it just but the chung kook's part is very repetitive and it's very unengaging and then you top it off with uh central c's rap verse which kind of just didn't feel very um it didn't feel very <clears throat> what's the word i can't think of the word but it just it didn't have the ump that i was hoping for i guess that's all it means five out of ten okay and this is the final jungkook song standing next to you this came out two days ago Might as well. Might as well since I'm here. Looking good as usual. I actually really like Jungkook with a clean cut hair than his. Uh, I think this hair looks so much better on him than the, the kind of longer on the back hair. I don't know why. It's just me personally. Now, when Chunk came back with really long hair, I was like, oh, that looks pretty cool, actually. I like that. But honestly, I like, I really like this cut from him. Or this style from him. <laughs> this the volume. And I'm going to cough. <laughs> Ugh. The coughs.
Ugh. It was a mistake recording today. But I don't have time. I must continue. Standing next to you. Oh, it switched over to them these. Oh, 80s. I just never expected this concept from Chung Cook. Or was that the chorus? I think this is the chorus, I'm guessing. Not bridge. Pre-chorus. Jeez. Get the terminology right, dude. I'm just the lore that this is what Jungkook. This is a Jungkook song, I should say. Sorry, I need a cough. <coughs> okay. This part is unexpected. God, I think he looks so good in that. Like clean cut. Okay, I'm starting to dig the song a little more. It almost feels like another Michael Jackson type beat here. Like the 80s kind of feel. This funky ba uh, bass sounds good too. Song kind of ends abruptly, but. <coughs> Jeez. <laughs> the coughing, just make it stop. Ooh, a live band even. Awesome. If I had a nice head shape, I would love to do that hair, but my head shape is really weird. And it just makes me look funny. <laughs> so I can't do that hair even. Sad. I've got a gigantic head. Basically is what I'm saying. Fight us for survival, test the time, I promise I'll be right. 
I'm still kind of mixed on that pre-course. I feel like it builds up something really huge, but like larger than the song itself. It's weird. But that's even a, a, a proper way to explain it. Interesting song. Weird song. <laughs> Jeez, stop the cuffs. <laughs> is there an actual dance practice to this? Or is this just this part? This is the server I'm in the background, by the way. I can tell. Or I can, I can see. <laughs> this is a long dance challenge. Is there any other content? This song is not very old at all. I'm guessing not. Okay. I want to, I would like to see listen to the song one more time. I think I want to listen to the studio version one more time actually. I was not expecting Chunk to come out with this concept like style at all. Yeah, I was not expecting this at all from Junko. He looks great with this concept and dance style. Like the sensual kind of feel. He does it really well. Kind of new. I never thought I needed to see Junko do this sexy sensual concept. This build up though, she's Next 
I want to see the choreography. Jeez. Looks intense. I like the song. <laughs> This groove, this beat, the bass line. to you oh man I, I was not expecting that at all I'm gonna talk a little bit as this goes on the background I might have to block this one out but well so what do I think about this song I think the shock, once that shock le left me a little bit, once I settled down and came back down to earth a little bit, that's the fact that um, the shock came from the fact that I'm not used to seeing Jungkook do this kind of concept at all, actually, right? I really like Jungkook's Euphoria. It makes euphoria. Well, I don't even remember how the song goes now, but. But I like that song. Um, I really like what's the song? Is it? Chita, time zone, jet lag, whatever it is. Um, that's probably another one of my favorite songs from Jungkook. Um. As well, I really like Shita. And I really like Seven actually. Especially the dirty version or the original version, not the clean version. Where just one word change makes the, the whole the whole song completely different in meaning. <clears throat> so what did I what was I doing just now? I, I had 3D, which I gave a 9 out of 10 without Mr. Jack, and I gave it like a 7 out of 10 with Jack. Um, Kid Leroy, Jungkook song called, uh, I forget. Um, I gave that, what, a 5? This wasn't my type of song. It was not my cup of tea. This song... Jeez. This... Pre-chorus build-up. Jeez. The song is... I, I'm not musically inclined enough, but there is something about the song that really draws me.
Yeah, I think this song is really good, actually. It's not a song that I could constantly listen to, but I definitely respect it. And some songs I could play on repeat for many hours. Some songs I just, I, I, I want small doses of it and I love it in, in, in those small doses. And this is that kind of song. Now, what do I like about the song? I don't know. I just like it, especially that build up and it's into the chorus. It drops it back down. It's interesting. I like it. It's fun. <laughs> but the nice thing I, I really think I like it, the thing I really like is actually Jungkook kind of spreading his um, horizons out a little bit, trying different concepts out and succeeding in it. This is great. Now, a moment of truth. God, my hair. Sorry for the lack of effort on my my hair. Uh. I think I give, I'm, I'm deliberating between a 9.5 and a 10. Why would I not give this song a 10? A 10 out of 10. Well, if I think about 10s, I think, well, the, the comment about my saying, I can't, I don't think this is a song I can listen to constantly. Maybe that disqualifies it from being a 10 outright, but I really respect the song. I think I'm going to give this song a 9.5 out of 10. It's almost there at 10. I can't, I can't do it, but I, it's a good song. I like this. Um, I'm glad Jungkook is experimenting is with his sound, his, his concepts, his dance. He's like late 20s now uh, or something. I don't remember. I think he's like born in 97. So he's like mid to late 20s. Something like that, right? I think the rest of the BTS members were um, uh, noticeably lo older than Jungkook. Because um, I think when BTS debuted, he was like 16 or something, right? Or something even, I don't know. Maybe even a lot younger than that. <clears throat> Jeez. Ugh. Yeah, I gave the song a 9.5 out of 10. This was fantastic. I loved it. I liked hearing the song. Um, one more thing Jungkook related I didn't really get to. It's like a preview. Golden preview. Golden. This is about. This is an actual song. Oh, Golden maybe is this album. Closer to you. Oh, ten out of ten. Seven days a week. I can't sing. Oh, my voice is supposed to go up. Can't, can't, it doesn't go up. Like seven days a week. Oh, I feel like I should give this song a ten, but I I'm gonna settle with a nine point five. Ending this to you. All English. Was well, seven all English? Please 
Jan. I like that sound of that hate song and the, the song that just came out somebody or whatever it was. The full length album. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna watch this because I, I. When am I gonna watch this otherwise? At least on camera. I hope it's not the clean version. It's a catchy song. I'll be loving you like seven days a week. It's like such a pop song. I'm such a sucker for pop songs. What can I say? like all the time it's pitch perfect you never you hardly ever hear Jungkook flat or sharp It's a 10 out of 10 for me. Maybe I did give it a 10 when I first heard it, but I gave it a 10 out of 10 now. It's like I said, especially the not clean version. <laughs> the, the, the meaning of the song completely changes with that one word change. Um, 
I think I've said everything I wanted to say. I think from the three songs that are the new songs I heard on this, um, I think I like uh, Standing Next to You or whatever that song's called. I, I think that's my favorite song from the three um, that are heard today. The new songs, like I said. Uh, if you're interested, um, please, please uh, let me know to uh, re if you want me to react to the rest of the album, especially that hate song and that somebody song right next to that. Those songs kind of sound right up my alley. Um, but it might be fun to watch those. Uh, in general, you know, I'm a little biased in that Jungkook is amazing. Um, you know, I feel like he's amazing, I should say. But I'm a little biased because I do like BTS. I do like Jungkook. Um, and it's amazing to see how much he's grown. Um, not only as a person, as a man, as a... Uh, but as a artist, as a singer, as a dancer. Um, the confidence growth. The, the unstoppable force of nature he is i think in my opinion as a as the uh main vocalist of bts um as the as the prototypical idol in my opinion right uh but yeah if you um if you want to see more from me react to jungkook let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see next from me. I, it will take a while for me to get to these things, of course, unless you, you know, uh, suggest something in Patreon. Patreon. I do have a Patreon. <laughs> I don't use it very much because I'm just, I'm completely scatterbrained now and I have no idea what to do with Patreon. But it's the place where you could uh, support me directly if you're so inclined. And it's also the place where I would upload, um, Un unedited videos such as like the gray filters that you probably saw in this video amongst other things um but it's also the place where you could recommend things to me directly i actually got one recently i need to get to it uh oh, sucks when you have such a little bit limited time to react to things but yeah it's it's it it it, it is it is what it is though so yeah, you can support me there directly if you so please. If not, uh, subscribing to my channel helps a lot as well. What else? What else? Also, also, I have a Discord server if you want to hang out with us. Me and a few, uh, you know, there's actually a good amount of people there, but um, love to hang out with more people. Um, more people into the community is always, always a blast. Um, so would love to have you there. Uh, otherwise, yeah, like the video if you haven't already. Helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already as well. So you can see the next video from me. <clears throat> I was going to do a rant video about BTS and, arm and uh, military service. But I don't know. Maybe it's kind of past the time now that they've already started going and such. But... Anyways, I don't know. I just randomly thought about that. Uh, I, I've been wanting to pull a trigger on that video for a year now, but I never did. Uh, and I don't, maybe, I, you know. If you're interested in hearing about me, though, uh, and what I think about it uh, as a Korean, um, let me know in the comment section. If you're still here, by the way, many hearts to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. And with that said, like, comment, subscribe, blogs. Yep, that's it. Have a good day. Good evening, good morning, wherever you are, whatever time it is. Be safe. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you next <coughs> time. <coughs> By the way, I have a, a newborn is why the videos are so sparse and wide in between. Um, it's because I have a uh, baby number two. She's now five weeks old. Six weeks old uh, takes up a lot of my time now that I have two and a full-time job. Uh, so, 
I apologize, though, regardless. But I hope you stick around so you can see more from me. All right, guys, have a good day. Good evening, good morning, wherever, whatever. Be safe, take care of yourselves. Ooh, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.